Next time you smell freshly cut grass, you could be helping your body relax. Sometimes flowers and plants look so good that you could just eat them. Who said that video games were a waste of time? We've scoured the internet to bring you some of the rarest facts from the natural world, the animal kingdom, and all the way from outer space. From a type of life that lives on silicon to candy that makes light when you crush it, I'm Mike with List25, and here are 25 outlandish facts you didn't know about science. 25. The leaves and flowers of violets are edible. Sometimes flowers and plants look so good that you could just eat them. And in many cases, that's true. If you come across a bunch of violet flowers, they're actually perfectly edible. Dozens of recipes use wild violet, especially to complement desserts. It can be made into sugar, squeezed into syrup, or crushed into biscuits. It adds an exciting bit of sweetness and color to any dish. And I don't think I've ever craved a flower so much. 24. Your walking pattern is unique. Crime detection techniques have come a long way over the last few hundred years. Instead of relying on the deduction of Sherlock Holmes, now we have fingerprints, DNA, digital profiles, and voice recognition to use as evidence. Soon, you'll be able to add walking to that list. It may sound strange, but the way you walk involves a complex interaction between a network of muscles, creating a subtle but detectable pattern. Some scientists even believe that this pattern is as unique as a fingerprint. 23. Gamers are better decision makers. Who said that video games were a waste of time? As each year passes, more research is proving the benefits of playing video games. One study found that gamers are quicker and more accurate in their decision making, faster than a non-gamer by about 190 microseconds on average. When it comes to brain processing speeds, this is an enormous difference. Researchers believe that it's because playing video games trains the brain to better map action, perception, and sensation, which all work to improve processing time. Playing video games could even one day be a method of cognitive training. I mean, imagine your doctor prescribing 10 hours of Xbox. 22. Blue light exposure can lead to weight gain. We've all drifted off to sleep as Netflix autoplays a bunch of episodes, but it's probably best not to. And not just because you'll miss what's happening in your favorite show. The blue light that comes from your TV, especially at night when you should be sleeping, has some pretty negative effects. The artificial light interrupts your sleep cycles as well as your appetite and eating habits, which is why it's linked to weight gain. So if you're trying to lose a few pounds, try turning off the TV early. Sleep is much more important than we usually realize. 21. Sound creates heat. You ever hear the expression that your ears are burning when someone's talking about you? Well, in a certain sense, that could technically be true. Sound actually generates heat. Both sound and heat are just atoms moving through the air in different ways. Unfortunately for us to feel or measure any noticeable heat change, the amount of sound and speed of atoms would have to be extremely high. So a gossiper would have to be talking very loudly for your ears to heat up. 20. Slime has therapeutic benefits. Did you ever play with a big pile of slime when you were a kid? If so, your parents might have given you more than just a good time. Slime has been shown to have an excellent effect on your mental health, from depression and anxiety to increasing concentration. In fact, there are videos right here on YouTube with millions of views where people simply touch slime, and I wish I was kidding. 19. Silicon is an essential nutrient for some living organisms. When you hear silicon, what do you think of? Silicon Valley? Silicon chips? Everything associated with the word has something to do with technology and computers, but did you know that some organisms actually rely on it? In fact, we have silicon in the connective tissue in our body called collagen. Without it, we wouldn't be as flexible or able to heal as well after injuries. If you added up all the silicon in the human body, it would be around seven grams, or enough for one and a half computer chips. 18. Benthic fauna. Lurking deep beneath the ocean's surface are thousands of species that scientists still don't completely understand. One of those is benthic, also known as deep sea benthos. Unlike many other species on Earth, benthos have adapted their metabolic system to survive at extremely low temperatures, far away from sunlight. Some live thousands of meters under the Arctic Ocean, far below thick layers of ice, which is why very little research has been carried out on them. One thing we do know is that they mainly live off of particles of food that fall from above, so they're kind of like the compost of the ocean. 17. It's not only plants that photosynthesize. 
In school, we learned about photosynthesis, the way that plants take in sunlight and water to produce oxygen. It's a vital part of our plant's ecosystem, but did you know that it's not only plants that do it? Algae, that huge swampy looking sea organism, usually colored green, also goes through the stages of photosynthesizing. And that's not all. Algae, which goes back to more than a billion years, is actually more efficient at photosynthesis than many crops growing in soil, which evolved from algae hundreds of millions of years later. It just goes to show that sometimes the newer version isn't always better. 16. Chemicals emitted by cut grass can relieve stress. Ah, the smell of freshly cut grass. There's just something so sweet and comforting about it. It turns out it might be the chemicals. When cut, grass releases a bunch of organic compounds known as green leaf volatiles, which act as first aid for the grass. That smell is these compounds releasing, which includes aldehydes used in perfumes and alcohols, which could be why that smell seems so soothing. 15. Your nose runs when you cry. A good cry has many functions. It releases feel-good chemicals, gets rid of toxins, and even helps to fight off bacteria. But when you get all choked up about something, you might have noticed that your nose tends to run too. That's because they're both part of the same system. After tears well up in the eye, they have to go somewhere, and that place is in the tiny openings at the top of the nose where they drain through the tubes known as tear ducts. 14. Male bedbugs stab the female to reproduce. If you thought human lovemaking was messy, then you have not heard about how bedbugs do it. First off, the process is called, and I kid you not, traumatic insemination, which gives you an idea of what's to come. Okay, brace yourselves. Male bedbugs have sharp needle-shaped penises, which actually stab through the body of their lucky counterpart. Then comes the more familiar stage where the male leaves some of his sperm inside. The whole process lasts less than a couple of minutes, but it's a horrifying ordeal for the female. Wow, I never thought I'd feel so bad for a bed bug. 13. If you can't stop bleeding, your body needs vitamin K. When a wound is opened up on the surface of our body, underneath a bunch of compounds are sent to the injured spot. The most important of those is vitamin K, which will rush to the injury to put a stop to the bleeding ASAP. If you nick yourself and find that it's taking a little too long to clot, it's probably because you have a vitamin K deficiency. The good news is that it's found in some pretty tasty food, from bacon and pork chops to chicken and goose liver. Okay, maybe not that last one. For the vegetarians out there, the highest concentration of vitamin K is found in cooked kale, along with spinach and broccoli further down the list. 12. Spiders move without muscles. In case you needed another reason to be creeped out by spiders, their movements are some of the strangest out of any animal. That's because they don't move using muscles like we do. Instead, their bodies are filled with a kind of fluid that's pushed around depending on which leg needs to move. Yes, this is fluid mechanics. And yes, this is very similar to cars or robots. So they're basically fast, sneaky, and deadly machines. Great. 11. Ants have two stomachs. You know how after having a big meal, it always feels like we have a second stomach for dessert? Well, ants have the same, but for real, and for a very different reason. Some species of ant use the first section of their stomach for what's called social eating. This means sharing their food with other members of their colony. They hold onto it, refrain from digesting it, and regurgitate it later as needed. You know what? I'd, I'd rather just skip a meal. 10. Chloroplasts and mitochondria have their own DNA. If mitochondria ever commit a crime, we'll be able to use DNA evidence against it. Mitochondria, which are the powerhouse of the cell, are found in all plants and animals. Chloroplasts are similar, but found in plants, and are the thing that drives photosynthesis. But these two engines also have their own identity, their own unique DNA. It's usually very resistant to degradation, but this isn't permanent. Drinking too much alcohol or taking other harmful chemicals can damage mitochondrial DNA. So if you're about to drink too much, just Think of your mitochondria. 9. The gene that determines skin color is the same in a zebrafish. How you look, from the proportions of your face down to your fingers' measurements, are all determined by your genes. That includes skin color. And in this respect, we aren't so different from wildlife. It turns out that unlike most things, there's a single gene responsible for about 30% of skin color in humans. And this gene can be traced back to the zebrafish, where it has the same function. 
Our last common ancestor with these fish was more than 400 years ago, and still we aren't all that different. Except we aren't fish. And we aren't cold-blooded. And we can't survive underwater. Okay, maybe we are a little, a little different. Eight, denatonium benzoate is the most bitter chemical compound. You'd be unlucky to find yourself ingesting denatonium benzoate, which is a chemical used in cleaning products and to make denatured alcohol. But if you did, there's a high chance you wouldn't even be able to swallow it. It holds the title of the most bitter substance on earth. Even at a dilution of 30 parts per million, it's too bitter for almost anyone to swallow. That's also why it's used in a range of pesticides to make them less dangerous for children. Seven, NASA has a facility so big that rain clouds form inside it. Making a giant facility big enough to have its own weather sounds like a conspiracy theory, but it's true though. NASA has done just that at the Kennedy Space Center here in Florida. There's a structure there that stands over 500 feet tall, has a total volume of almost 1.3 million cubic feet, and is used to put together those huge spacecraft. This also makes it big enough for clouds to form inside, which is solved by 10,000 tons of air conditioning controlling the mini climate. I knew it, they were controlling the weather. That's sarcasm for any of you conspiracy theorists out there. It was a joke. Six, the Ansel's mole rat can visually detect magnetic fields. The magnetic fields on Earth are mysterious, powerful forces. Since they are invisible to us, experts once thought that it was impossible for animals to feel them. However, we have slowly discovered that from birds to sea turtles, many animals are directed by magnetic fields. The mole rat is one of these. Although they are blind from perceiving light, their eyes have a receptor allowing them to see magnetic fields. It's not as though they're seeing magnetism like Neo in the Matrix. Instead, their receptors are connected to the brain in a way that would be more like a sense than a vision. Five, chewing on candy can produce light. Triboluminescence is a word for a very strange phenomenon. When some materials are crushed, they release a small surge of light. This happens with things like quartz crystals and mercury, or by ripping apart scotch tape. Even stranger, some types of candy can produce the effect too. Which ones? Wintergreen flavored lifesavers are apparently the best. Their color comes from a flavoring called methyl salicylate, which is fluorescent, and when it's broken down by smashing, cracking, or chewing, this compound absorbs ultraviolet light and shoots it out as a bright blue light. Four, a shrew's head shrinks by up to 30% in winter. Cold weather makes our muscles tighten and contract. The extreme version of this is shivering, where our body is trying to generate some heat. But this is nothing compared to what shrews do. These little animals have an even more drastic response to the cold. At the beginning of winter, their entire body shrinks, including their entire skull and brain, by between 15 and 20%. This makes it easier to keep the body ticking since less energy needs to come in. Could you imagine losing one-fifth of your head every year, though? Three. The stoplight loose jaw fish uses a special light to track its prey. The stoplight loose jaw looks like something out of a horror film. Its gigantic jaw makes up 25% of its entire length and is fitted with jagged, sharp teeth. But what's even scarier about this fish is the reason it's called stoplight. Close to its eyes are organs that produce both green and red lights, just like traffic lights. These act as a kind of laser dot site to locate other animals. Depths at below 1,600 feet where the stoplight is found don't see the color red. It's basically like an invisible red dot of a sniper rifle. Two, the smallest winged insect is 5,000th of an inch long. Most insects buzzing around the house catch your attention immediately, but probably not this next one. Dicopomorpha ecmeterigis, better known as fairy flies, measure about 140 micrometers in length, which is equal to 5 1,000th of an inch. That's even smaller than some forms of bacteria. Unlike normal house flies, these are parasites that bury themselves in wasps, but they can also be used against certain insects, making them useful for protecting agriculture. One, the world's first cleanup satellite is being launched. Humans have been sending things to space since the Soviets launched Sputnik in 1957. And unfortunately, humans leave behind a lot of trash. There are an estimated 9,000 metric tons of debris still orbiting our planet right now, mainly made up of launching equipment, old satellites, and wreckage from accidents. 
That's why the European Space Agency is launching Clear Space One in the next couple of years, which will use robotic arms to steer certain space debris back into Earth's atmosphere, where it'll be broken up by pressure and gases before ever reaching the ground. It's only the beginning, but cleaning up space will be an impressive achievement for science. So, what other science facts did we miss? Which ones blew your mind? Let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and check out our social medias, including my personal ones, links in that description below. And if you love this list, you will love this one here. So keep clicking and watching and learning about more science facts, tons of them. All, we have science videos out the wazoo. That is a scientific term, everyone knows that. So click here. Just wazoo's at, all, all outside the wazoo out, around, in the wazoo, everywhere. So many science facts.